here at Parliament House and at a time where the Labour Party have now asked the Premier to uh, act on the fact that he didn't know or did know whether uh, Nitin Gusahani was directly involved with Sunny Leone and her event. Um, that's now coming up tomorrow. So um, I'd like to ask Fiona Patton, who's here with us today, uh, representing the Australian Sex Party. Now, what is the relevance of all of this when it comes to a politician's job? I seriously don't think it's relevant at all. And I'm, I'm quite surprised that both parties are attacking uh, a businessman. And I think this becomes terribly confusing. And I think this incident really highlights this, that with... You know, what morality do we accept? What morality do we not accept? What if my brother-in-law's brother was involved with some criminal behaviour or lied or committed adultery? You know, do we then disendorse that candidate? I think here we have to look at the person for who they are, not for their association. And once we start doing that, it is a very slippery slope. And to say that one can't associate with this person, one can't do business with this person, if one wants wants to be a, a politician in Australia. And I don't think that's what Australians want. Across many media platforms, we've seen uh, primarily on print that um, uh, Dennis Naftain, Premier, has actually stated that they've taken action because these issues should not be let go of. Um, and after that, the Liberal Party really has not said anything much. Mm. It's, it's been laying low. Now, I, I have to ask the question, is that because the election is around the corner? And what are your thoughts on that? Well, obviously, it should be because the election is around the corner. And this is the candidate, the Liberal candidate for the seat of Tom. Town. So they should, you know, they would either come out and disendorse him and ask him to run as an independent or they get behind him. And really, one has to question why they are not right behind him and supporting him and attacking the Labour Party for, I think, a, a misuse of some concerned morality. This uh, Bollywood porn star and hoped to simply tough it out. Uh, or whether people are simply not doing any kind of appropriate checks on Liberal Party candidates. I mean, we have to bear in mind we've had a candidate resign because of uh, misogynistic uh, posts. We've had one that's had to resign because of racist quotes. We've had uh, a candidate that's had to go because of domestic violence allegations. Now one who wants to import a porn star. We've had a campaigner with links to the neo-Nazis. I mean, this is a... Uh, very unusual set of circumstances that the Liberal Party is having to contend with and I think their campaign is in complete chaos. Well, the Labour Party, of course, have questioned all that the Premier has to say regarding this, which he does not have much to say at this point. However, we, if, you, if you look at the vote for cards that are still out there with Dennis Naftine's face and Nitin Gusahani's face on it, so the ousting may not necessarily be that official if that's actually going to be out there with the public. So the votes need to come in, but he can be out in the public face. Mm. Look, I think, frankly, it is actually far too late uh, for, for them to to be disendorsing. Yes, the printers have printed, the ballot papers have been printed. He will be there as the Liberal Party candidate and I think that's a good thing but I would really like to see the Premier come out and actually endorse this candidate and say really this is not important. We think this man is a good man and the reason we pre-selected him still stands. Well, apart from that, of course, Sunny Leon's event here has seen a lot of rejection. For example, the event, um, the venue managers, the people who were meant to host her at a meet and greet event, have now pulled out. Uh, previously, a media partner have pulled out. There's a lot of uh, fear within the community, within the Indian community here, who uh, seem to think that this is sort of a bad face or a bad image for many of them. It's an interesting thing where a diaspora has a different position uh, than the country that they're from. So Sunny Leone is very popular in India, as we know, and to kind of reject her in Australia seems to be, I think, a quirk of diaspora that sometimes we sit back and maybe go back, don't move with the country that we're from. India has changed since the last 15, 20 years. People in India don't think the same as people who have been there before. And however, as I said earlier, these are gimmicks, political gimmicks.
that people play. Sometimes jealousy is also involved. Maybe some other candidates wanted to have opportunity more than the person that we are talking about. And that could be the reason.